Hi everybody. Today we will discuss a very important and a very big metabolism that is fatty acid synthesis. Fatty acid synthesis. So coming to fatty acid synthesis, first there is the formation of pyruvate. Pyruvate is formed through glycolysis. Pyruvate is formed through glycolysis and this pyruvate forms acetyl CoA in mitochondria to the enzyme pyruvate dehydrogenase this is the first reaction pyruvate forms acetyl CoA through mitochondria in the mitochondria through pyruvate dehydrogenase the second reaction is acetyl CoA forms malonyl CoA acetyl CoA forms malonyl CoA and as I told in vitamin B10 Carbo uh, with, uh, vitamin B10 is required in carboxylation reactions and this is a carboxylation reaction so enzyme biotin COO that is enzyme biotin with carbon dioxide will be required so enzyme biotin COO is required which will the carbon dioxide will be fixed into the malonyl CoA forming enzyme biotin this can again be utilized the carbon dioxide we get is from bicarbonate the enzyme is the enzyme over here is acetyl coenzyme A carboxylase so these are the first starting two reactions which are important for fatty acid synthesis First is the formation of acetyl CoA from pyruvate. This takes place in the mitochondria. Then acetyl CoA forms malonyl CoA in the presence of enzyme acetyl CoA carboxylase. The important thing is that it requires a biotin or vitamin B10 for the fixation of carbon dioxide. So two important reactions to start with: pyruvate forming acetyl CoA, acetyl CoA forming malonyl CoA in the presence of enzyme acetyl CoA carboxylase. So now we have acetyl CoA, we have malonyl CoA. Now we start with the fatty acid synthesis. Before looking in the fatty acid synthesis cycle, we have to know the enzyme, the fatty acid synthase complex. So it is the fatty acid synthase complex. Fatty acid synthase complex is the enzyme complex which will take part in the reactions further. And it is very important to learn this complex and to draw this complex in the diagram. Uh, the uh, it is a very easy if you follow uh, the diagram like with me so it is a dimer 1 as 3 units 1 as 4 units the one you can write at the mnemonic is km so keto acyl synthase it is synthase. It is synthase. So keto acyl synthase, acyl transacylase, acyl transacylase. For M, it is malonyl transacylase. Over here, it becomes deca. Come deca. So it is dehydratase. Enoyl reductase, ketoacyl reductase, and acyl carrier protein. So, acyl carrier protein is attached with thioesterase, and this acyl carrier protein over here is attached to 4 prime phospho. Pantothene. Over here the keto acyl synthase is attached to cysteine and SH group. So the same thing will be repeated over here. And over here there will be three structures. Now coming to this point, it will be KAM that is ketoacyl synthase, 
असाइल ट्रांसाइल इज मैलोन ट्रांसाइल इज डी ई के ए सो डी हाइड्रेट इज इनॉल डिडक्ट इज कीटोसाइल डिडक्ट इज एंड असाइल करियर प्रोटीन दिस विल बी अटैच टू थायो एस्टर इज ओवर इयर ओवर इयर विल बी फोर प्राइम फोर्सफो पैंटोथीन एस एच एंड ओवर इयर इट विल बी सिक्सटीन एंड एस एच ग्रुप ओके सो दिस इज द वे दैट द डिविजन टेक्स प्लेस this over here is the functional division this is the functional division and this is the subunit division if you remember this diagram it would be easy to write fatty acid synthesis synthesis the first two reactions is first is the formation of acetyl coa from pyruvate the second is the formation of malonyl coa from acetyl coa Now the third, you have to first draw the diagram of fatty acid synthase complex K A M D E K A. Similarly, K A M D E K A. Keto acyl synthase, acyl transacylase, malonyl transacylase, dehydrotase, enol reductase, keto acyl reductase, acyl carrier protein. Acyl carrier protein is attached to thioesters on both the paths. Keto acyl synthase is always attached to cysteine and S H. And acyl carrier protein is attached to four prime phospho pantothen. Now, if we look, the first two reactions are the one which take place, which we had studied earlier. Now, coming to the reactions which this fatty acid synthase complex will form. So, there is a way to remember which enzyme will take place when. So, these two enzymes we number as one. This is the reaction number one after the formation of acetyl malonyl CoA. This is the reaction. These two enzymes will take part in the first part. Second is keto acyl synthase. Then the third is keto acyl reductase. The fourth is dehydrotase, and the fifth is enol reductase. If we remember the order, it is. Uh, if we remember the order of Kam Deka, then it is. Uh, we can do. Write the reactions of these two take part in one reaction. So I have put it as one. The second reaction would be catalyzed by keto acyl synthase. The third reaction will be by keto acyl reductase. Fourth will be by dehydrotase, and fifth will be by enol reductase. So this is the way the fatty acid synthesis will take place. Okay. So just remember that for in the first reaction, acyl transacylase, malonyl transacylase both will take part. The second reaction, keto acyl synthase will take part. The third reaction, keto acyl reductase will take part. The fourth reaction, dehydrotase will take part. And the fifth reaction, enol reductase will take part. And finally, we have thioesterase also. It will also be there in the fatty acid synthase complex. This is the functional division. The functional division is over here. This is the subunit division. So this is the enzyme of fatty acid synthase complex. Now coming to the cycle per se. We had already formed. We had already formed acet. We had already formed acetyl CoA and malonyl CoA. So coming to the cycle, here there is acetyl CoA. This acetyl CoA forms malonyl CoA in the presence of acetyl CoA carboxylase. This reaction we have seen, which takes part in the presence of biotin. Carbon dioxide is fixed. Okay. Now this malonyl CoA will lose the CoA, and this acetyl CoA will take part with the fatty acid synthase complex. Take part with the fatty acid in this complex. The enzyme that is that we had to remember was the first enzyme, the malonyl, because there are two enzymes that combine together. So malonyl acetyl transacylase, malonyl acyl transacylase, transacylase. So it forms. It forms acyl malonyl enzyme. Now coming to the second part of the reaction, that is the the second part is the keto acyl 
hips and this. This will form a keto acyl enzyme. Just remember the fatty acid synthase complex. That is. So this was the first enzyme. This is the second enzyme. This is the third. This is the fourth. And enoil is the fifth. So now the keto acyl synthase will form keto acyl enzyme. It will liberate one carbon dioxide molecule. This keto acyl enzyme. will in the presence of keto acyl reductase will form 3 hydroxy acyl enzyme over here NADPH plus H plus is utilized this NADP H is generally given to us by pentose phosphate shunt. In some, it can be by isocyclic dehydrogenase. In some, it could be by malic enzyme. Generally, it is by pentose phosphate shunt. So, three hydroxy acyl enzyme. This three hydroxy acyl enzyme will now the enzyme will be the uh, ketose and reductase is over dehydrogenase. So dehydrogenase, it will form two three two three unsaturated acyl enzyme, acyl enzyme, and finally this two three unsaturated acyl enzyme will again lead to the formation of acyl enzyme with the enzyme. enoyl reductase this is also a reductase so this will again require nadph plus h plus this will be provided by the same for pentose phosphate pathway isocyte dehydrogenase or malic enzyme now we have acyl enzyme this acyl enzyme can repeat the cycle for approximately repeat the cycle from second second step to fifth step onwards this is the keto acyl synthase step onwards this is the second step this step from this step to it will continue it will repeat itself for seven times repeat itself for seven times in the presence of and, and repeat itself for seven times and finally form palmitate The enzyme for this reaction is thioesterase. This whole cycle will be repeated from seven times from here. So second, this third one, this step from keto acyl synthase, keto acyl reductase, dehydrogenase, enol reductase. These steps will be repeated for seven times and finally palmitate will be formed. So if we see pyruvate dehydrogenase formed acetyl CoA, acetyl CoA forms malonyl CoA. Now we have acetyl CoA, we have malonyl CoA. This will combine with the fatty acid synthase complex from acyl malonyl enzyme. This in the presence of enzyme, first part. That is the this one. Malonyl and acyl transacylase. This acyl malonyl enzyme in the presence of enzyme keto acyl synthase will form keto acyl enzyme. This in the presence of enzyme keto acyl reductase will form three hydroxy acyl enzyme. It will release one molecule of water with with the help of enzyme dehydrogenase to form two three unsaturated acyl enzyme. Then coming to enoyl reductase, that is the fifth part of the our group. It will form acyl enzyme. This whole step will be repeated seven times to form palmitate. This last reaction is by thioesterase, which is over here. This is the uh, last enzyme which is the present in the subunit in the synthase complex also. That is the thioesterase. So the last enzyme is the thioesterase for the fatty acid synthesis cycle. And the fatty acid synthesis regulation of this cycle is by One is through acetyl CoA carboxylase. So acetyl CoA carboxylase will uh, be inhibited by malonyl CoA, palmitoyl CoA, and it will be stimulated by citrate. So it will be inhibited by malonyl CoA. It will be inhibited by malonyl CoA.
It will be inhibited by malonyl CoA, palmitol CoA. It will be stimulated by citrate. And it is also stimulated by insulin in the making it in the dephosphorylated state. That's all for the fatty acid synthesis. Fatty acid synthesis. The most important thing to remember in fatty acid synthesis is the fatty acid synthase complex and then the whole cycle becomes easy to remember and to write down. That's all. Thank you.